Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I have a special guest here, Abdul Aziz Kabara, my brother in law, uh, that just started memorizing the Quran about a year ago. Why did you start memorizing the Quran? Alhamdulillah, Akhi. Uh, you know, the best of us are those who memorize the Quran, who learn it, and the ones who teach it. So uh, I memorize it with hopes, inshallah, to teach it also one day. Amen. Amen. And uh, the Quran, Akhi, it's ayat from. Right. So it'd be a it'd be a shame to live these sixty years without having tried to at least memorize. Subhanallah. And you just started he's starting uh, medicine pretty soon. How are you gonna be able to balance such a heavy and busy uh, study life, becoming a doctor and also memorizing the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Because we didn't memorize it when we were kids. You're, no. you're 18. You're 20 now. Yeah, but you 20. started at like age 19. Yeah. So we're starting a little late compared to. Allah be yes, as we say in Arabic. <laughs> but uh, if there's if there's khair and the intention, if there's right and the intention, Allah can make the hardest difficulties easy. Oh, Allah. Right? Oh, another question. So Abdul Aziz is also from Denmark. And we know that Denmark doesn't recognize Islam. And um, there have been um, some individuals that are burning the Quran. So, how does that make you feel regarding your health, your uh, relationship with the Quran, knowing that your culture, or society, does not recognize Islam? Okay. First of all, it's not a reason, but a source of motivation mm. to continue memorizing. And it also gives the sense of uh, uh, responsibility. In the sense of now that we've memorized it and inshallah yeah. act upon it, inshallah. Uh, we can uh, give da'wah in, uh, in that front card. And show people what the, the true Islam is, no. the true uh, identity of Muslims is, which is footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, which is you know, light and guidance to all of mankind.